You would expect every Muslim to know that the religion of Islam, the deen of Islam is the deen of Tawheed. No Muslim, whether born Muslim or a revert to Islam, can be counted a Muslim unless he has the most basic understanding of things which is Islam is the deen of Tawheed, which means to worship Allah alone, to worship none along with Him. Not, not just that you worship Allah. There must be another element of what? Not worshiping others with Him. فَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاغُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ إِسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُرْوَةِ الْوُثْقَى You have to disbelieve in all false gods and then single out Allah in worship, then and only then, a person is a Muslim in the ultimate sense. Otherwise, if someone said, I would worship Allah, like the kuffar uh, proposed to the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, you know, we worship Allah, your God, one year, and you will worship ours the next year. So Allah revealed the Surah Al-Kafirun, which everyone knows, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُوا مَا تَعْبُدُونَ Until the end of the Surah, لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَ دِينَ it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. That's a basic understanding of every Muslim. And we cannot afford, or nor can we claim to be Muslims, unless we know that. Now, if this is the case, and it is the case, then that entails that we understand the concept of slavery, which is proportional to the understanding of our Islam. The more someone understands Islam, the more someone will enslave himself, is, is enslave himself or herself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as a slave, each one of us, or as slaves, we have no right, no right to worship Allah in a manner which He did not prescribe. We don't have such authority. We do not have the authority to say, I will worship Allah in this particular fashion. As a slave, no such right. Now, if one of us was a master, and he created his own world, his own universe, his own everything, and then in that creation of his, he wanted to run business the way he likes, we say, go ahead. If anyone, and no one can do that, by the way, because Allah already told us, no one can create but him. If one can, wants to create his own creation, then tell them, worship me however you like, then that's their business. But that doesn't happen. In the deen of Allah, there's no such thing. Allah asked in this rhetorical fashion, or do they have partners which legislate for them in their religion that which Allah did not permit? Is this possible that they bring their own partners who will legislate into the deen? No. No, it's unacceptable. So the deen, and part of our slavery to Allah is that we submit and we follow the Qur'an and the Sunnah strictly. We have no right, no authority to propose anything into the religion. If we do, then we need to study Islam from scratch. We need to learn Islam all over again. Because many Muslims need to study Islam from the beginning. Furthermore, everything must be perfectly harmonious with the teachings of Islam. None of these aspects can be ignored. Say, well, yeah, okay, I can do this, but the concept can be a Christian-based one. And we will see, as we discuss, how many of the Christian and Hindu-based ways of supplicating to their gods have been integrated with the teachings of Islam by the Sufis and the grave worshippers and the likes, and so that, you know, dua was no longer the way of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. It's the dua of the Christians, but in Islamic terminology.